What is up guys, Keeping Pokemon Epic here, and we're going to be talking about these new Pokemon games, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, and I just said Pokemon three times, oh well. We're going to be talking about this segment of Pokemon X and Y with uh, looking at the Koro Koro like, magazine, the recent pictures that have just been leaked from Cerebi like on Cerebi.net and uh, Bulbapedia. So here we go. Okay, first we start with this, and we have a little bit of new Pokemon here. Sweet. Um... I'll go by their names first, but let's see what's on the top left over there. Zoom in real quick. This looks like the um, starter screen. You know, like when you get your first Pokemon in any game, it'll, it'll show you like three Pokemon if you don't know how the games work. All three of you out there. Um, right here we have Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. And it looks like, um, yeah, like I said earlier, the starting screen. Well, not starting screen from like <laughs> the intro. I mean, the where you choose your first Pokemon. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, here's the first Pokemon we're talking about. And it get ready for me to butcher this name. It's they didn't release its US name yet, but its Japanese name is Yaya Koma. It's normal flying type. So it's pretty much the new Pidgey or Starly of this region. And its classification is the Japanese Robin Pokemon. I mean Japanese Robin Pokemon. Height 3 meters, I mean 0.3 meters. It weighs 1.7 kilograms. Its ability is unknown. And so, yeah, this is the only Pokemon right now. Oh, also, the details from Cerebi.net it says this bird Pokemon was first shown in Koro Koro on May 2013. It's a bird slash flying type, I mean, normal flying slash flying type, excuse me. It is well known for its singing voice and can learn the move Nitro Charge. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And here we go to the next Pokemon. And now on to this Pokemon. It is called Go-Goat. It's, uh, that's the Japanese name. All of them have their own Japanese name. They don't have any US name yet. But, um, it's grass type. It is classified as the Ride Pokemon. Its height is 1.7 meters. It weighs 91.0 kilograms. Its ability, ability is unknown. Its details, this goat Pokemon was first shown in Koro Koro in May 2013. It's a grass type and can learn the move Horn Leech. It is capable of being ridden within Mier City the po and possible other places. Apparently Mier City is a new place in this so-called new Pokemon region. So that's going to be kind of cool. So yeah, on to the next Pokemon, even though I said that before. Now we have this little cute fuzzball thing, and it is called, if I can look it up again, uh, Yamachan. It is fighting type. Uh, it looked like a dark type at first when I saw it the first time. It is classified as the naughty Pokemon. Um, its height is 0 0.6 meters. It weighs 0 8.0 kilograms. Ability once again unknown. This panda Pokemon was shown in Koro Koro in May 2013. It's a fighting type and can learn the new move. Parting Remark. So that's pretty cool. So now we go on to the last new Pokemon available at the moment. So right about now. And we have the last newest Pokemon at the moment from Koro Koro. And it goes by the name of Electiru. It is electric and normal type. By far it's my favorite non-legendary in this uh, video. Well, even though it didn't show any legendaries, because there's no new ones at the moment. It is classified as the generating Pokemon. It is 0.5 meters high. It weighs 6 kilograms. Ability unknown. This, and the details is, this lizard Pokemon was shown in the Koro Koro Mage 2013. It is an electric slash normal type Pokemon. It has a new move called Parabola Charge which heals the user while damaging opponents. It uses solar rays to generate electricity. So this Pokemon's pretty cool and also good for the environment. So, <laughs> pops my hat off to you, sir. So, and now on to, uh, I like this kind of cool part right here. It's, a uh, possibly a new Pokedex? I honestly don't know. Honestly, <laughs> even I said that already. Um, it's a pretty cool, uh, little gadget right here. It kind of looks like a hologram in a way, or a piece of glass, I don't know. Even though, like, I really want to get one just looking at it. Like, seriously, it's freaking cool looking. So, um, now we get on to the official artwork of the trainers. And now we have the, uh, what the Pokemon trainers look like, the official artwork. 
I'm pretty sure, like, they have no names yet. Oh, I'm sorry, my voice kind of cracked right there. Um, I have no idea what their names are, but I know they're, like, the main characters of the game. And what the heck? What the heck is this? Okay, so apparently now you can be able to customize your character. I'm not sure if you can customize the clothes or hat or whatever, but it looks like you can change your skin tone and hair color. That's pretty cool. And, um, there's not much to say about this. And, well, it kind of gave it away when we first saw the mirror in the beginning trailer back in, like, January. I think it was January. It's been a while since I've seen the trailer when it first came out. But oh well. And now we go on to the other news, or other stuff to it, and, you know, Coral Coral stuff, yay. And now we have what could possibly be the new Pokemon region. Um, this is the highest resolution I can be able to get, sorry guys, but, um, like, I, like we already knew, the new region possibly takes place in France, and, uh, yeah. Also, um, you can see this on the arm below. You can see this weird wristband. I think that could possibly be a new Sea Gear or Poke Watch or whatever. Or Poke Gear, I don't know. It could be a new thing like that. It looks pretty cool though. So, uh, yeah. And this video is almost over. But we're not done yet. As you can see, this shows like some of the new Pokemon moves and whatnot, and also the classification of some of the new Pokemon. Looks pretty cool. And what is this? Oh, it looks like a new Pokedex entry, or the stat menu of your Pokemon. And it looks honestly kind of cool. I I'm tired of saying honestly. Sorry, guys. It's a, it's a habit at the moment. I think I gotta stop it, but doesn't matter. That's pretty cool right there. And now on to the next photo. And now we are on to this section, which is probably going to be talking about the next Pokemon movie, because it has Ash Ketchum in there. And what is this? The next box art for Pokemon X and Y for the 3DS? Aw, oh, yeah. And... And this is the last photo I'm going to be showing in this video. I forgot to show this, but, um, I, this, I guess, you can ride a Pokemon now. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, you can ride Go-Goat, which I find pretty, uh, cool. Instead of a... Well, like, we already know you could possibly ride, uh, Rollerblades from looking at other, uh, videos and also, uh, like, updates from other YouTubers and whatnot. I hope they still have a bike, because I kind of miss the bike. And I guess uh, Go Goat's going to be another use of transportation. And I guess that's about it, legit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is Keeping Pokemon Epic signing out. Hopefully, I will be showing another um, X and Y update as soon as possible when they come out with more photos and whatnot. And also, I could be showing uh, the next. Oh, I am going to be talking about the next Pokemon X and Y update next month, around June 11th. So hope you get hope to see you guys there. That's about it, legit officially. And this is Keeping Pokemon Epic signing out.